Altrix enables users to increase their efficiency and speed of deploying processes by offering different types of workflows. If we navigate to the Canvas configuration under the Workflow tab, we can see its three different types, Standard Workflow, Analytic App, and Macro. How do these three types differ? Standard Workflow, also known as Modules, is the typical workflow that we see in this tutorial. It's the YXMD file that contains the combination of tools that we drag and drop for our processes in Designer. Analytic App is a self-contained program of the standard workflows. It has an interface that lets you or the end user set limited functionalities such as inputs, output file path, and categories to filter, just to name a few. It also has the file extension of .yxwz. Macro is the compiled set of Altrix Designer tools into one tool that can be used repetitively throughout the standard workflow. You can also optionally set an interface for its configuration window and change its tool icon. This type of workflow is saved as a YXMC file. To simplify, you can convert your standard workflows into either an analytic app or a macro. Use the analytic app if you have end users who will need to configure some settings of the workflow. On the other hand, you can use a macro to pass repetitive processes to your colleagues who will need that process flow in their workflows. If your organization has an Altrix server or gallery, you can publish your analytics apps there to enable non-designer users to use that application. In order to understand how an analytic app works, let's use a simple workflow and convert it into an analytic application. The workflow has a list of supermarket sales and is processed and summarized by the workflow to output the total sales and COGS per product line to an Excel file. Always make sure that your workflow is already functioning properly with no errors before converting it to an analytic app. We wanted to convert this to an application where the end user can specify their own sales input file. Choose a product line and choose a file path for the output. In order to change the file type of our workflow into an analytic app, we can either navigate to workflow configuration, workflow, type, and set it to analytic app or drag an interface tool into its canvas. This will automatically convert it to an analytic app by default and will reflect it in the file name once you save the workflow. A proof that the standard workflow has been converted into either an analytic app or macro is the lightning bolt icon and question icon above each tool. This means you can now add an interface tool to them. Each interface tool will be one part of the visual component of your application. Let's start our app's interface by dragging a file browse tool from the interface palette into the top of the input data tool. The file browse tool displays a file browse control in the app, which lets the end user add in their own output file. Let's set its display text to choose a sales input file. To view the appearance of your app, you can go to the Interface Designer window. Press Ctrl, Alt, and D to access its window. The Interface tool lets you customize your app or macro interface in its layout view. You can also add a group box, label, hyperlink, and a tab on this view. You can move or arrange your report interface objects by using the arrow buttons on the right. Now, we have created an interface on our app but how can we connect it to our process tools? In our canvas, the file browse tool has a question anchor, while our input data tool has a lightning bolt anchor. However, the connection tools must match for them to work properly. We can only connect a Q anchor to a Q anchor and a lightning bolt anchor to a lightning bolt anchor. This means that we need something in between the tools to properly pass the file browse that we need from the interface and change the value of our input data. This is where we can use the action tool. Drag an action tool from the tool set and place it in between the input data and the file browse. Connect the queue anchors and the lightning bolt anchors to the action tool. The action tool is always needed in between the process tool and the interface tools to let the program know how the interface tool will update the value of the process tool. 
An action tool is also automatically placed in between the tools if you drag the Q anchor into the lightning anchor. To configure the tool, we need to set it to an action type. This will change depending on the tools you have connected to the action tool. Let's set this as update input data tool to take the input file from our interfaces file browse, then enable the required checkbox. Next, let's add a list box that will show the list of possible product lines. Add a list box tool into the canvas and place it above the filter tool. The list box has a Q input anchor. This means we can optionally connect a data stream to it to supply the fields you need in the list box, like an embedded select tool. To configure the tool, set its display text label to choose product lines to include in output. Then enable the all checked by default. There are two modes here that we can use. Select tool mode will populate the list like a select tools window that lists the fields from a connected data stream, while the generate custom list will populate the connected process tool of the selected value that are concatenated according to the set separators and start and end text. Select the generate custom list and set the separator to comma. Then choose the list values to manually set values. This will let us type in or paste the values of product line into the text box. Make sure that the values are only one per line. Once done, you can check if it has populated the list box by clicking on the interface designer's text view, which is the wand icon beneath the layout view. The list box should contain the list of the field data values that can be checked and unchecked by the end user. We can now add an action button after the list box tool to apply the selected values into the filter tool. Drag an action tool between the list box and the filter tool and connect its anchors. On the action tools configuration window, select update value. This action will update an indicated part of the connected process tools configuration based on the attributes that we will specify. Always make sure that your expression or configuration on the process tool will work alongside the type of interface tool that you have applied. For example, we use the list box tool. That means this can take one or more values and feed it into our filter tool. This signifies the filter tool's expression should be able to handle one or more value in its expression. In this filter tool, we are using the IN function to take in several values from the list box. The action tool should update the values inside the parentheses. To do so, in the configuration's value box, select the expression under the filter group. Then we will enable the replace a specific string function and set it to replace the product line's concatenated values by indicating it on the text box. For the last part of our interface, we need to add another file browse tool for the output data's file path. Drag a new file browse tool into the canvas, then set the display text label to save the output to. Enable the Save As dialog since this is for the output. Then set it to Arbitrary File Specification. And let's leave it to the default text file and all files. You can type a specific file extension here if you want to limit the type of output file. Type a file description as plain text followed by a pipe character and file extension. After that, add an action tool to connect it to our output and set the action type to update output data tool. Once done, you can now run your app in analytic app mode by pressing on the wand icon beside the run button. The interface designer window has several other functions to personalize your app and check if it has any errors. Under the test view, you can use the open debug action to check if the current workflow has any errors and ensure that the values were properly processed and updated by the action tool. If you have a big application that has several interface objects in it, you can check on each questions and actions that it has by accessing the tree view. Lastly is the properties window. Here you can set a hyperlink to your own help page, set the app to automatically run another analytic app once it has finished processing, show an output message to the end user, and insert a graphic into your application.